I'm Deborah Borchart, and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. It has been a busy week for acquisitions and earnings as the industry continues to consolidate. On Thursday, Salt Global said it was acquiring Northern Emeralds for $120 million. Salt Global plans on expanding on the Northern Emeralds One plant dispensaries in California, Florida, and Michigan. Supreme Cannabis is buying Blisco in a deal valued at $48 million. Supreme also reported third quarter 2019 net revenue of $10 million. Slang Worldwide is acquiring LBA Global Corporation and its Lunchbox Alchemy brand portfolio, plus the subsidiary Hydro Distribution. The proposed transaction will bolster Slang's position in the Pacific Northwest. And Trulieve is buying the Connecticut dispensary, the Healing Corner, but they didn't disclose the size of the deal. Now, there were a ton of earnings this week. We can't go over them all in this video. If you need details, head to greenmarketreport.com for that. Aurora Cannabis reported their third quarter net revenue of $65 million. That is up from $54 million sequentially, but the company delivered a whopping loss of $158 million. Tilray reported that its net loss for the quarter was $30.3 million. Now, even though the revenue increased by 195% to $23 million versus last year's $7.8 million, so that's good, it was still less than the net loss they reported. Cantrust Holdings reported that its quarterly revenue rose 115% to $16.9 million. That's versus last year's $7.8 million. Got a lot of real estate stuff to talk about this week. Acreage Holdings is following in MedMen's footsteps. The company set up a REIT and they're selling their properties to the REIT and then they're gonna lease them back. Now the move is expected to unlock the value of these real estate assets. 1933 Industries did something similar their subsidiary, Alternative Medicine Association, completed a sale and leased back for its cannabis cultivation facility in Las Vegas for $10.45 million. And finally, Canara Biotech said that they began trading on the OTC QB venture market under the symbol CNBTF. That's it for this week. I'm Deborah Borchart reporting for the Green Market Report from Times Square.